So do you have a camper with its own hot water system, similar to the MDC Robinson? Now they're great, but there are a couple of pain points which I pr probably think you're aware of. That is that the water comes out of that hot water system at 60 degrees, so it's just about impossible to get a decent shower without stressing that you're going to burn one of your kids. Second pain point is there's no external tap, so when your hands are dirty from hooking up the camper or taking the kids for a bush wheel or something, there's nowhere to wash your hands. Here's a couple of solutions I've come up with to sort out that problem completely. G'day guys, I'm Ben from Beautiful Plumbing. I'm a part-time camper, part-time plumber and gas fitter, full-time husband and full-time dad to four kids. Now if you've got a Robinson, you're very lucky to have this beautiful hot water system which can crank out some serious hot water, you know, on demand, which is great. One problem that there is, um, which it's a real safety problem, is that that hot water system can crank out water up to 60 degrees, or even if you flick the switch, it could even go up to 70 degrees. Now, if that was installed in a house in Australia, it'd be totally illegal, and if a plumber hooked that up, mate, there'd, there'd be some serious consequences if one of the kids or someone got third degree burns. Now, just to give you a little bit of info, water at 60 degrees will give you third degree burns in about a second, okay? Now, when you, when you drop that only 10 degrees to 50 degrees, it takes about three minutes, so plenty of time to get your kid or loved one out of the shower, okay? Now, the trouble with this is that it's hooked straight up to the hot water system, so really, you, you, I wouldn't leave my kids out here to shower by themselves because it's too dangerous that the water could creep up to 60 degrees and give them a burn. Now, if you're out camping or something, that'd be a, a terrible thing to have to pack up and try and get to a, a, a hospital when you're out there camping remote or something. Now, the cupboard in here that the hot water system installed is a massive cupboard, so plenty of room for a, a plumber like myself or one of your mates to install a temp valve for you, okay? Now, th these, this, with this setup, all I've done is the temp valve is only for the shower, okay? So it limits the water back to 50 degrees only for the shower. So that means that the, the parents of the kids or whoever can adjust that water from 50 degrees even down to 40, 37, whatever they, they, you, you know, you're happy with your kids showering at, you can set it. I set mine to about 42 degrees. That's what they like. Set it to 40 degrees, 42 degrees. That means when the kids come out, jump in the shower, all they have to do is turn on the hot tap the temp valve sorts out the temperature, comes out at 40 degrees. No hotter, there's no way that it could come out at 60, okay? That means that frees up your time as parents to be lighting fires, washing sand out of kids' eyes, um, you know, making dinner, doing all, this, all the, the hard work of camping so these kids can have a great time and, um, you know, make some memories with them, okay? Now, the good thing about this setup too, because it's only for the shower, in the kitchen sink, it still has that beautiful hot 60 degrees water for cleaning your, you know, your, your pots and pans and stuff to make it so much, so much quicker, uses less water as well. Now, if you do get a plumber to come out and to, to install the temp valve um, in, your, in your camper like this, to hook it all up, while he's there, ask him to put an external tap in for you, because that's one of the things that is a little bit annoying about the Robinson, is that when you're out there camping, um, or you've, you've pulled over on the side of the road and you've, you know, you've tightened up the wheel nuts or even taken the kids for a bush wheat, there's nowhere really to wash your hands unless you open the kitchen up, okay? So while they're working in here, it's very easy to, to bring in a water main underneath, that's what I've done here. Just behind here, I've installed a tap, okay? Little, little, little valve. So all you gotta do is turn that on and you can wash your hands, you know, wash your face, whatever it is. Wash their nappies, nap their bottoms, whatever. Turn off the water. And it's, it's really discreet, it's not going to get smashed with a bush or anything. And then, you know, it just makes it that little bit more easier camping. Get rid of those pain points, that's what we're all, you know, all about. So, if you like some of the mods that we've done, I've done heaps more. Check out my website, beautifulplumbing.com.au. I've got a whole camping section there. And uh, if you need a plumber to do any of this stuff in Perth, give us a call. If you're on the other side of the country, well, yeah, you've got to find, find your own guy. Anyway, give us your thoughts and criticism, love the comments. And um, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you later.